the new Magic Jet. G'day guys, welcome back to Lost Recovery. Today I've got an absolute awesome adventure I'm taking you out on. Check out the location behind me. We are standing on top of a 25 metre waterfall. That's right, just there behind me, there is a 25 metre drop straight down. Every single year we have hundreds if not thousands of people jumping off this rock cliff, dropping all sorts of GoPros, iPhones, who knows what else we're gonna find out there. Today's mission, river cleanup. Now unfortunately, this location does get trashed. Beer bottles, cans, plastic bags, clothing, you name it, it's out there. So we're gonna do a massive river cleanup. I get quite a few bags full of rubbish and that's what we're gonna be looking for today, especially we're gonna be cleaning out all the trash. Today I'll be diving with my Suzuba hooker system. I wanna give a huge shout out to Aqua Robot Man for sending me out the new Magic Jet. The Magic Jet has two speeds, high and low. It's a switch on the side here. It travels at 1.8 meters per second. Dive depth of 164 feet. It has two times GoPro mounts. One on the bottom, one on the top. There is two positions you can hold this underwater scooter. Two hands, accelerator button, or one hand holding out in front of you. Comes with a tether line that you can tie to yourself and to the Magic Jet. Run time of 60 minutes and a charge time of only three hours. This is extremely lightweight. I can hold it fully extended. One arm, no worries at all. Enough talk about the Magic Jet. Let's gear up and get out there. See you in the water, guys. Cheers. Ha <laughs> ha.
Ooh. Phil's actually a subscriber to our channel. Thank you, Phil. You've got a YouTube channel yourself. What is that? Phil Bo Baggins. Yeah. Alright guys, check it out. Phil Bo Baggins, underwater melody tactic. Magic Jet. Yeah, I'll try it out. Give yeah. it a go. I got it on high speed and you're set to go, mate. Cool. <laughs> I've just been pulled out of the water, I've been informed. I do have another recovery to shoot off to right now. I'm gonna show you the best finds of the day. Unfortunately, no GoPros and no iPhones. The water visibility in the area I wanted to hunt today was unfortunately zero. You can see in the video, I get down to a certain layer in the water and it becomes a little milky white. And then beyond that, it's just total pitch black darkness. You cannot see anything down there. If this video hits 5,000 likes, I'll come back out to this location. Leave a comment down below. What do you think of the Magic Jet? I was out there for about two hours today. It did live up to the expectation of one hour run time. I'm really impressed with that coming from an underwater scooter, especially for its weight. It is very lightweight. It only takes three hours to charge, which is really awesome. I'm really impressed with the Magic Jet performance but it's my first time out with it we'll see how it goes on future dives treasure today well we didn't find any gopros or iphones unfortunately but what we did find check this out one of the best finds today it's beautiful 1979 beer bottle and that's been down there since 1979 i've hunted this river numerous times in the past unfortunately i cannot collect all the bottles on each individual hunt because there are absolutely hundreds down there in this location one point pasteurized milk it's got no date on it leave a comment down below if you know the date of this bottle here really awesome find and some relatively good condition Especially in this area, it's a very silty bottom. Everything that gets stuck down there, it just gets trapped between the rocks and the silt covers over it. The next bit find is Solo bottle. It's really unusual. I don't know how long that's been down there for. Solo, it's still got the label on it. That's what's really fascinating me. Now I can't actually see a date, unfortunately. But leave a comment down below. Do you know the date of this bottle? Trash today, we collected about two bags of trash today. Now. I'm not really happy with that result to be honest. 
I did swim past a lot of beer bottles, a lot of cans. I simply did not have the time to collect everything today. It's not a one day job in this river. It is absolutely crazy how filthy it is in there. And you've seen it, it's an absolute beautiful paradise. This particular area is very special to me. I do like to see it cleaned up. All the GoPros and iPhones, when I do find them, I do leave my name and number, card details, with the National Parks and Wildlife Services. I do speak to all the locals and lifeguards in my area. I do everything I can to return every item I find back to the rightful owners. Guys, this is what I love doing. This is what I'm going to continue doing for the rest of my life. And check out my office. I absolutely love it. Well, that's it for today, guys. Share, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, support us on Patreon, and I'll see you all on the next hunt. Happy hunting, guys. Cheers. <laughs> all right, guys, let's get back out there. We've got a ring to find. I almost forgot. My last best find is this over here. It's my new frisbee. I've got a buddy here. I think he wants to play. Ready, boys? Good boy. Come back. Alright, now make me fetch it.